planner friends, it's Ashley. Today we are talking 2021 planner lineup and I am so excited for it. I don't know about you, but I am ready to revamp my planners. I have some new sections I wanna add, some new layouts, which I'm really excited to dive into. So we're gonna talk about the different planners that I'm using and what I'm using them for. Now I do have eight planners setting in front of me plus an extension pack and some of you are gonna be watching this and you're thinking that it's ridiculous and that I do not need this many planners. What does someone need that many planners for, right? And I totally understand that, but for me, this is what works. I like having different planners for each category of my life. It really helps me be productive and stay on track. And then also, I love planning. This is like my hobby. This brings me joy and happiness, and that's all that matters. And if you are someone who is like, I only need one planner, it works great for me, that's totally fine too. Your planner has to work for you, and that's all that matters, whether you have one planner or 20 of them. I couldn't imagine having 20. <laughs> 20 planners is what feels a little dramatic to me, but there might be people who have 20 planners and that's totally fine. As long as it's working for them, that's all that matters. But for this video, I'm showing you my lineup. So what planners I'm using, I'm going to tell you what I'm using them for. And then I will have separate videos of me setting up the planners. Some of these I'm frank and planning. Some of them um, are going to be separate and on their own. Some of them I will be getting into daily. Some of them weekly, maybe even monthly or every couple of months. Um, like memory keeping because I get backed up on that one. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna share with you what planners I'm using for 2021. Let's start with this one. This one is a dashboard layout. This is from the Happy Planner. Actually, all of my planners are from the Happy Planner. And I love the Happy Planner because they are on a disc bound system, which means it is 100% customizable. You can literally take anything out of the planner and add anything to it. So that's why I love the Happy Planner. It is uh, a way to be able to fully customize your planner and that's really important to me. This one is a dashboard planner. This is my favorite dashboard planner they've ever come out with because it is 99.9% .9 neutral. The only color in this planner as far as the monthly and weekly pages go is gonna be this little pink block here and then the pink block here. So that's why I really love this planner. It's really neutral. For me personally, I'd rather have a blank planner and then be able to add color um, with stickers and stuff like that the way that I want to without having to color coordinate with whatever's on the page. So I really love a good neutral planner. Now this one I will be using as my social media planner as I have been. This was a July start. So it started in July of 2020 and it is an 18 month planner. So it goes until December of 2021 there's December. So to go until the end of next year and I will probably use it until the end of next year because I really do love the dashboard layout. It's my favorite layout and I love that this one is uh, pretty neutral. So this is where I will be planning out YouTube videos, so uh, Instagram. I'm also a health and fitness coach so that information goes in here as well with all the people on my team and that is what I will be using this planner for continuing on into 2021. Now this one, this is a teacher planner, and this one I'm a little iffy on. I'm not 100% for sure if it will be um, brought back into my lineup or not, but I do want to share it with you in case I decide to use it. This is a teacher layout, and I've been using it uh, for virtual learning for my son. So he's doing the virtual learning at home, and that's what I was using this planner for. The cool thing about this planner is that it's undated, so I can use it whenever. And I was using this from... When did I start this thing? September. So I used it September, October, and November of this year, and I really liked it. But I stopped using it in November, and some things have kind of fallen through the crack. Now, the way that his school does it is he uses uh, Google Classroom, and every single day they post his homework. So we don't have a, an advanced schedule. So, like, I don't know what he's doing for the entire month, and I don't know what he's doing ahead of time for the week. I just know day by day. And so what I was doing is I would decorate this planner, and then each day I would write down his assignments. After a while, that kind of felt pointless <laughs> because we were doing them on Google Classroom. I could see them on Google Classroom, so I stopped using the planner. But things that he needs to do that his teachers are not posting in Google Classroom, uh, for example, like AR test. So AR test is where they have to read books and then they take tests over that book and then they have an AR goal and they have to reach that goal each semester. And I was forgetting about that. So it's the things like that that we need to do that aren't being brought up all the time. So I don't forget those because mom brain is real and I don't think it's ever gonna go away. But I was also thinking maybe I can take like the stuff that he needs to do that's not being posted in Google Classroom daily 
I can take that information and maybe put it inside of my catch-all. So this one's kind of iffy, and if I do end up using this, I honestly may not decorate it. I'm not 100% for sure yet on this one. I just want to share it with you. That way you know I may be using it, I may not. So that's the teacher layout. Next up, I have the wellness planner. And I really like this planner. The colors in here are really pretty. They're kind of muted, like blush kind of colors. They're bright, but they're not super bright. You know what I mean? They're not like a rainbow color. So I really like the colors in here. I really love this planner. And I am going to be frank in planning this one though. So right now, what I'm doing, this is my current planner. And right now I, um, like here's one. I create my own health and fitness spreads and I really love doing this. This brings me a lot of joy. I love sitting down and doing this, but there are weeks that I'm really busy and I don't get to this until sometimes Wednesday or even Thursday. And then what I'm doing is back planning, which is fine, but sometimes I want to have a layout already set up for me. And that's where the wellness planner is gonna come in. So I will be using this one on weeks uh, where I'm busy and I don't have time to do a complete spread from scratch. I will use the wellness layout for that. So that's what this one's for. And I really like it too because it has um, some journaling prompts down here at the bottom. So that's going to be added to my 2021 lineup. And I will be frank and planning it with creating my own boho spreads. And I will probably use the dividers from the wellness planner. So what I was doing is taking different dividers from Happy Notes and I was just using them, which works out great. Nothing wrong with that and then I would date them. And sometimes I would create a monthly spread like this, where you have the whole entire month at a view. Sometimes I wouldn't, like this month for December, I didn't create one. It just went directly into the first week of December. So I really like having a monthly section to already create where I don't have to create my own. So I will probably be using the dividers and the monthly section for sure every single month, and then just use the weekly pages as I need per busy week. So that's gonna be the wellness planner. All right, from there, I have this planner. This is the Love Letters. This one is for practicing calligraphy and handwriting. So this isn't technically a planner planner, but I will be uh, attempting to use this one on a daily basis. So I'm gonna start incorporating this into my evening routine. So in the evenings, whenever I sit down and look at my planner and write down things like my health and fitness stuff from the day, or if I need to start planning for the next day, I'm gonna add this into that routine to where I sit down and practice handwriting. And the cool thing about this planner is that it already has the lines for writing in it. So that's really awesome. So you can do uh, practice calligraphy, you can practice your regular handwriting and the dividers in this planner are gorgeous. Like look at how pretty that is. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm excited to work on my handwriting in 2021 because it's not the best. And I definitely want to learn how to do calligraphy, at least be able to write my name in calligraphy, <laughs> if anything. Uh, I really want to be able to do that so I can add my name into my planner um, and me actually write it. So that's going to be the love letters and I'll be using that one to up my writing game. And then next up, this one is going to be my memory keeper. Now I've been using this one as a memory keeper. This is the wild styled one. This started back in July of 2020. Uh, so I'm going to keep using this. I didn't actually start in it until August, I think, right? Yeah. So I started in August creating some memory keeping spreads. I definitely want to keep up with this for 2021 because I love doing it. However, I am a little bit behind. This is the one that I said that I may not dive into every single day or every single week. It might be every other month or something. Kind of depends. I do want to make it a goal, though, for 2021 to actually keep up with this at least more regularly than what I have been. So I still need to get the rest of October, November, and December finished up inside of this memory keeper. But when January gets here, regardless of whether those months are completed, I am going to start doing this a little bit more frequently so I don't get so behind. So hopefully this will be a weekly thing. Like on the weekends, I can sit down and catch up on memory keeping. That's going to be the plan for this one. And I really love the wild style planners too that they had because these ones are really neutral other than like the peach up here and there's peach. Well, that's not the monthly, but there's peach here, but that's not a big deal. That's not a whole lot of color, but this is going to be my memory keeper. This was an 18 month planner, so it does go until December of next year. So I'll be good through 2021 with a memory keeper. And then I also have expander discs that I will be adding onto this because the regular size discs are already starting to get 
pretty full. So I'm going to be adding expander discs on this. This planner will stay by itself. I won't be franken planning this one with anything, but I just keep it with all my memory keeping supplies. And then hopefully each week I'm diving into it, uh, doing memory keeping spreads. From there, I have a faith planner. This one is gorgeous. I love this one so much. I love the colors in here. They're like blush, muted colors, really pretty. Actually, I already started using this one in December because it is undated, so you can use it whenever, which is awesome. And I kind of like the layout in here. Sometimes I wish I had a little bit more room to write in it, but um, I like that it already gives you prompts. So if you are not sure what to write down, it kind of gives you some prompts for you to go off of, but you can always cover those up with washi or something. Now, whenever it comes to my faith planner, let me show you like this week. I really don't decorate it a whole lot. Like I'll put a few stickers here and there. So I'm not really worried about uh, the, the uh, colors here on the weekly pages matching the stickers because I don't really use a ton of stickers, mainly just writing inside of this planner. But this will be my faith planner for 2021. I really love the colors here, the blush tones. They are really, really pretty. And I'm ready to just keep diving into this planner more and more. So that's gonna be my faith planner. And then from there, let me show you the extension pack first. So I have an extension pack and I'm currently using this as a way to block schedule my day. So this is the goals extension pack and I really love this thing. I like the colors inside of this one too. And it comes with four months. Right now I have the other month inside of my planner. So we'll do January, February, and March. And then in March, I will start to reevaluate if I'm going to get another one of these extension packs or use a different hourly planner. But for now, this is the one I'm going to be using. And I'm thinking about using the monthly section of this planner as a way to pre-plan my week. So every week I like to sit down and pre-plan. And normally I take like a sheet from Happy Notes or something like that. And I will pre-plan my week out. But I think this would be a great way to use the monthly pages. But here's what the weekly pages look like. And it is hourly so you got from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and I like this one because like there's two boxes here so you can have two habits for each day normally I do my morning routine and then I pick another habit that I'm working on and so I like that those are there and then I can also put my priorities up at the top and then block schedule my day out now something else that's really cool about this extension pack is we go from the monthly section you flip it over you can set goals for the month here and I love setting goals and I love having a place inside of my planner that has my goals wrote down so there's a goal section there's also a priorities list then you have tasks list a task list that you can have a due date and then you have plenty of room for tons of checklists so I really love that and then it goes into your weekly pages and then in between each week this one says things to follow up on and so you have four different categories there. This says weekly focus with four different categories. Now, so far, I've not been using these pages. I use these two pages, and then I somewhat use these ones, not a ton, but a little bit, and then I've been using these ones every week. And I'll probably continue that process for 2021. I may um, end up using, where is it at? <laughs> I may end up using these two pages. I may not. Not so sure on that one yet, but this will at least get me through the first quarter of 2021. So that's going to be uh, my extension pack, hourly extension pack that I use to block schedule my day. And then from there, this is where things are going to get a little trickier. I have two planners here. I have a horizontal planner and I have a lined vertical. And I'm torn in between these two. I'm not for sure what I want to do yet with these two planners. So I really want to use a line vertical for my catch-all planner for 2021. But with this line vertical, the only thing that I'm not a fan of is that there is quite a bit of color and decoration in it. So like there's a rainbow down here, which is super easy to cover up with a sticker. That's not a big deal. But like where it says January in 2021, those are colorful. And I feel like my stickers need to color coordinate with that, which might not be a bad thing. Maybe that'll get me out of my comfort zone and using more stickers. But there's also all of these little stars that I feel like needs to be covered up. And then the weekly pages have quite a bit of color as well, which these lines are super easy to cover up. I have some of the skinny washi tape that'll go right over top of those, but I'm more of a neutral planner girl. And I'd rather have a blank planner than all the color that I have to cover up. So I'm kind of torn. 
And so that's the line vertical. And I really want to use this because I do love this layout, but I also love this horizontal one. And I want to use it for the same thing as my catch all planner. Uh, this one, I love this one, you guys, this one is gorgeous. I love the blush muted tones in here. These are more my style. Yes, there is some color. So you've got like on January, you have that like brush stroke, the weekends have color, but they're muted. It's not like super bright rainbowy colors. And there's leopard print up here, which I love the leopard print. So that doesn't bother me at all. That is more of my style. And then like the months will alternate. So there's this really light blush blue here. Muted. It's kind of like a bluish grayish color. So if, I don't feel like I really have to color coordinate with those. I feel like if I use any color sticker, I could get it to match fine. So that's why I really love this one. But I really wanted to use the line vertical layout. But I also want to use the, the horizontal layout. So what I'm thinking about doing is using the dividers from the horizontal because I love these dividers. They are super gorgeous, really, really pretty, very neutral, muted tones. So I really do like these dividers. So I think I'm going to use the dividers from here and the monthly pages from this one. And then each week I will alternate in between the line vertical and the horizontal. And I don't know, maybe this will be something that I do for the month of January and then I can decide which one I want to use or I can continue frank and planning for all of 2021 with these two planners. So when it comes to these two, I'm not 100% for sure yet what I want to do. I just know that one of these or both of these are going to become my catch-all planner. My catch-all planner, I literally put anything and everything in there. That's kind of like my main hub. If I had to get rid of all my planners and keep one, it would be my catch-all because I could combine everything into one planner. I wouldn't be able to use as many stickers, but I could do it. Uh, so this is going to be my catch-all. Kind of figure this situation out. If you want to see how I end up uh, doing this, make sure you are subscribed so you can watch the setup video because I will be making setup videos for like my catch-all, my wellness. I probably won't make one for the face planner, honestly, because it's pretty much already set up. But other than that, that is going to be my 2021 lineup. I'm really excited for this. I'm ready to dive into these planners. I'm ready to get them all set up, ready to go for the new year. I'm excited to set some new goals and just looking forward to just a new year and leaving 2020 behind, right? Now, I know, listen, I, I, I say that, but also in my head, I'm like, Ashley, nothing magical is going to happen on January 1st. So that's kind of my mindset with this too, is like, I'm ready for a new year, but I also know realistically that, you know, everything's not just going to change in an instant because it's a new year. But I am looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to some new goals, new planners, new setups, new routines, Really, really excited for that. But that is going to be my lineup. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button so you can see the setup videos. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.